Good morning, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad with your word for the day. And today I'm going to be sharing from Psalm 37. Specifically, Psalm 37, verse 4. And I would talk about this one verse because it is so powerful and so hopeful that I hope it brightens your day and at the same time challenges you. Psalm 37, 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. What a great promise. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. And I hear people quote this often because they want what they want. And I don't know about you, but I want what I want. And a lot of times I ask God to provide it for me. Give me the desires of my heart. Uh, that's something I'm not sure we ever outgrow. We just learn to uh, make it a little more palatable to the public. See, I have young grandchildren, and my grandchildren want what they want. Now, I'm really thankful because my two littlest ones, they want their papa. And they're vocal about that, and they don't care who they hurt to get what they want. And uh, they want their ice cream, or they want their treats, or they want their toys. Uh, right now, my youngest granddaughter wants babies, and she has a baby. She doesn't want to let go of it. She wants what she wants. And while we uh, act a little more mature as we get older, in our hearts, we still want what we want. And here's the thing. God tells us how to get it. If we delight ourselves in the Lord, He will give us the desires of our heart. Sounds like an amazing promise. And right now some of you are thinking about the lottery and winning it or thinking about miracle cures for your illness or you're thinking about uh, you know, reconciliations that you wish could happen. Well, here's the thing. There, there's a, a caveat to this verse and that is you have to delight yourself in the Lord. See, our problem is we're sinners. And so a lot of the things we want are selfish. I, I, I look, my heart's evil and I just assume you're about half as evil as I am. So I know that you're wicked to the core. Because in my heart, there is pride that it just reigns, and it wants stuff for recognition. And there's greed, and I want more for me. And, and there's lust, and there's laziness, and there's envy, and there's all those just nasty things that are in my heart that want things that are not of God. And here's the thing, God's not going to give me those things. Now here's what will happen. If I delight myself in the Lord, my heart will change. My heart will change so that I want what God wants. And he'll replace my pride with humility and I want to serve. And he'll replace my, my greed with generosity and I want to give and bless people. And he'll re replace all those evil thoughts with scriptural thoughts, with godly thoughts. So that I'll start seeking for the benefit of others rather than for myself. Because we become selfless rather than selfish. And we become servants rather than masters. And, and, and we start living differently. And as we delight ourselves in God, we learn the truth of God. And it begins to take over our mind and the way that we think. And, and what ends up happening is our dreams change and our desires change. And they line up with Jesus. And we start caring more about men and women discovering this life-changing grace of Jesus than we care about our own agenda. And we start caring more about making sure that the hungry are fed and the thirsty have something to drink and the naked are clothed than we care about our own stuff that we want. And we start caring more about accomplishing things for the kingdom of God rather than for our own little, you know, principality. That's the reality. If we'll delight ourselves in the Lord, which means that you've got to fill your mind with the word of God. It means that you've got to own the values of God it means that you've got to spend time with Jesus in prayer, in Bible study, in worship, in serving. And as you delight yourself in God, He really will give you the desires of your heart. And He'll delight in doing that because you will want what your Heavenly Father wants also. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope it is life-changing and revolutionary for you. And I'm praying that God will give you the desires of your heart because if He does it means that you're delighting yourself in him. And there's no better pursuit than that. I hope you have a blessed day. Uh, praying for you. God bless.